Luke chapter 14 verses 25 to 27. Now great crowds accompanied him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. This is the word of God. The disciples and the crowds. A prominent group of people through Jesus' ministry on earth. But these two groups related to Jesus in very different ways. To the crowd, Jesus healed them and forgave their sin, meeting them where they were. He went low for them. He went the distance others refused to go because he loved them. He showed compassion to them. He came as their savior. But to the disciples, Jesus demanded more. He told them to stay awake while others would sleep. He told the disciples to feed the people when they had no food. He asked them to pick up their cross and follow him. He didn't heal them first. He didn't encourage them or speak kindly to them first. He demanded their everything. What did you think reading these verses today? I'll tell you the truth. The crowd will hear these sayings of Jesus and say, What? My own father and mother? My children even? Isn't that too much, Jesus? Everyone that I love, I gotta give up for the kingdom of God to be your disciple? Isn't that too harsh? Why are you putting us in this horrible and difficult situation? Do we really have to choose one or the other? But the disciples of Jesus will hear these sayings and say, Of course, Lord, for you, I give my everything, all that I love, all that I need, all that I ever wanted. I give it all for you. The crowd and the disciples, both were saved. Both knew and saw and were loved by Jesus, but they related to Jesus a bit differently, and it changed the course of their lives. Are you one of the crowd, or are you striving to be a disciple of Jesus? Amen.